Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, let me eggman up. As you can see, I'm in prison clothes. It says banded chest uh, around me and I'm in a prison. Um, we have been sentenced to 75 days. 75 days. More like if you see at the bottom it says 73 minutes. 73 minutes in prison. We were doing uh, some illegal activities. This is my first day here. I'm just trying to make a little bit of money before I started the video. We had some money to do some stuff. And uh, I did the wrong delivery mission. And uh, I got caught. And um, now we're here. Damn, this is the longest fucking minute of my life. You have been released. You must obey the criminal code of conduct with no illegal activity within 48 minutes of release. Get outside? Oh. You're out, we can talk it's to me. It's me, remember me. A man on the telegram. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Uh, what happened to you, son? You got arrested? Yeah. I was doing, I was doing one of those, uh, one of those, uh, little drug wagon things. Fell off oh, a cliff. Jesus. Fell off a cliff and, uh, didn't know the law was chasing me. And they, they, they caught up oh, to me. Jesus Christ. I got a job for you if you're interested. Uh, you can make a hundred dollars. Yeah, sure. Are you yeah. interested? Yeah. It's a security mission. I got you. I don't have any weapons right now, but that's all right. You just need to look scary. All right, I got you. If you flee your horse, you can hop on the back of mine. I'm just gonna look scary, okay? <laughs> it wasn't too tough though. I, I did some work, shortened my time a little bit. What'd you say, son? Uh, being in prison, it wasn't it wasn't yeah. too uh too bad. I short I shortened my time by doing some jobs. How long did they put you in there for? Seventy five days. For doing drugs, Jesus, that's not that long. It was my since it's my first day, they cut me short. Oh, fair enough. What did you say to the law? Usually they let you off for the warning. Uh, no, nah, they didn't, uh, they didn't even give me that chance. Jesus, scumbags, huh? Yeah, I cooperated with them, though. Well, that's good. You'll notice we're being followed. That's my associate. Gotcha. Okay, I was wondering so, who that was. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's him, all right. What's he doing? Hello. So essentially what's happening is we're going to Van Horn here to protect our other associate while he processes stuff. It's a dangerous business, this here. Powder. <laughs> How'd you find me? How did I find you? Yeah. Well, I was in the neighborhood already and I... I, I opened up my map and I thought I seen your uh, your yellow hood. And I thought to myself, is that Alec? And then you rode down to the telegram station and I recognized the horse. Here we are. Gotcha. I, might, I might be old, Mr. Duncan, but <laughs> my memory's still solid. I got you. I was just, I was just wondering. Don't you worry, I'm no spy. So what's with the hobo get up anyway? I was meaning to ask. Uh, I thought it'd make me a little less suspicious of trying to do stuff, you know? And how'd that work out? <laughs> well, I got a Class B misdemeanor now, so. Oh, well. Uh, there goes your law career, huh? <laughs> Can't be joining law if you, have a, if you have a misdemeanor. Yeah, those wagon runs are very dangerous. I, I, I found running shine, you know, moonshine. It's a lot safer, because you can get away with it by saying that you're transporting water jugs or that you're just a driver and you have you, you don't have an idea what you're transporting. I told him that. I told him I was just a delivery driver. I didn't know what was in the bag, and they searched it. Uh, a couple of chumps then. Uh, I don't think he's here yet. Tell you what, Alec, you, you head on in there to the uh, saloon and... Get yourself seated up. I'm gonna go speak to my associate here. See what the, see what the business is, alright? Sounds good. I really like this place. This place is homey. What do you think? 
Yeah, it's pretty homey. Not a lot of not a lot of people around. Well, potentially what's happening here is we're just security, okay? There's gonna be three people on the job, and there's the boss, all right? Yeah. You, if law turn up, make sure you have an alias, all right? You know my name's Constantine, but if they ask you, my name's Ian. All right. Uh, it's what again? Ian. Ed. No, Ian. I A N. Oh, Ian. All right. Yeah. Sorry, my accent's a bit heavy. No, you're good. <laughs> so you make sure you have a name set up. All right. Sounds Just good. in case we get taken in. The, the fellow that was following us, you'll refer to him as Nathaniel, all right? Nathaniel, all right. <clears throat> He's the other security on this job. And last but not least is the guy that has hired us. He does not have a name, all right? You don't talk to him. Sounds good. He just pays us to do the job, and that's it. Hey, Nathaniel. What's it going? You may take a seat. I'm waiting for this fella. Nathaniel, this is Alec. That's the guy I was telling you about earlier. How's it going? Nice to meet you. He just got out of prison for being a bad boy. <laughs> Shit, what'd you do? I was running drugs. Shit. Yeah, you gotta be smart the way you do it. I told him I didn't know what was in the bag and they still searched it. Yeah, they will. Bastard cops, and that's what he got. Nathaniel's good. He gets the job done. I just need enough to get me some weapons, and I'll be all right. What's your ambitions then, Alec? Uh, to protect myself and to make some money. Is that it, huh? Yes, sir. I admire that. Definitely, that's definitely what I was thinking whenever I got into county. But your ambitions change, son. They grow bigger and wider. You with your drugs, you could end up in some sort of empire. Who knows what's in store for you? Yeah, I mean, I, eventually I want to work my way up to that, but as of right now, I want to just be able to make a living, you know? Absolutely. Apart from the uh, narcotic side of things, what else do you have in mind? A bit of hunting? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Body wor bodyguard work, you know, don't matter to me. You are a pretty scary looking fella, I must say. How, how'd you get that scar? Uh, well... It's actually like three different scars. The 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 furthest one to my the closest one to my ear is from my dad. He he was a, a an abusive type. Oh then, Jesus! I am sorry. It's all good. the The middle one is uh is a uh, I fell from a tree, and then the the bigger one is um so I fucking I got into a bar fight and somebody tried to take my eye out. Oh, I guess you are the weather then, huh? You're still here. Yeah. A little unfortunate, but, you know, it builds character, I guess. That's exactly it, you know. You wouldn't be the man you are today without those experiences behind you. No, sir, I wouldn't. That's exactly how you wound up here, huh? Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Oh, wow. Everything happens for a reason. That's what I like about it. What about your scar? How'd you get that? I was out really about... Now this is near enough 50 years ago. <laughs> this was a long time ago, son. I was out with my daddy. And we was hunting this great big bear. Now, I couldn't even describe to you the size of it, but it was bigger than that fireplace. It was humongous. 
and we was hunting because it was on our land and it was it was trying to kill our sheep. We was ranchers, you see. And we caught up to it. And my daddy gave me the gun and told me to take aim and he said, son, you fire when you're ready. And I did. I fired a bullet right through that bastard's eye. Took him down with one shot. But unfortunately, what, what seemed to have happened was while we were skinning it, that gunshot and the smell of that bear alerted a couple of wolves <coughs> and about 12 wolves. <coughs> All right, Nathaniel. About 12 wolves descended on our position. <coughs> and when I say that they tore, uh, they tore us like a pack of paper, pack of paper, sheet of paper, my apologies. They tore right through us. My daddy, my brother, were both destroyed, mutilated. I managed to snap at one or two of them as they ran up, but it wasn't enough. I used the weapon as a bat. And I defended myself on top of a rock for the entire night as they barked and chewed upon my family. It wasn't, if it wasn't for my mother and my younger brother running to my rescue in the morning, I would be dead too. How I got this scar was that during the night, one of the wolves attacked me while I had passed out from exhaustion. And he got me good. Then I managed to push him back off with the rifle and maintain my position. Damn. Yeah, that's that's how that's usually how people react to that story. Most people don't expect it. But five minutes. Five minutes. That's all right. Cause I was just telling our friend here how I lost my eye. Oh God. Yeah, not yeah. a good story. No, it's not. Very gruesome. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty bad. But I I live on the family tradition, you know. We was always a hunting rancher family, and that's what I've done, and that's what I teach my son and my grandson. That's good. But you know, it builds character. As you said, I wouldn't be the man I am today without it. And it definitely doesn't help having a glass eye either. Bet you didn't realize this eye was fake, huh? No, I didn't. <clears throat> yeah, I had to get a fake one put in so it didn't scare the locals. I, I, think, I think not having an eye would be more scary than a glass eye, but... Yeah, that's right, but, you know, I got used to it, you see, and I don't know. I, I guess I just don't want to scare anybody, you know. That's not my intention. Yeah. I just want to make friends, you know, pass on my knowledge. Find folk like yourselves. Appreciate that. Well, you got a friend right here. Uh, if you if you ever need any more help, I'm I'm willing to help. That's very nice, you Alec. I appreciate that, son. I really do. And you just know that you have a friend of me as well. You and I, we we can work together, do some great stuff. I think. Just depends how hard you're looking to work for it. Uh, I'm a, I'm a very hard worker. I like hard work. I like using my hands. That's good, son. That's really good. <laughs> this county needs more people like you. Yeah, we don't need any more people in, in suits and ties walking That's around. That's it. They think there's some kind of nobility around here. But let me tell you something. We used to light people on fire for wearing stuff like that. They think they're better than us. Smoking their fancy cigars. 
She really hates them. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Oh, there he is. All right, you remember what I told you. Don't speak to this guy. You don't know him. He doesn't have a name. All we do is we watch over him. How's it going? Table's out back. So tell me a bit more about yourself, Mr. Duncan. Uh, well, uh, after my, uh, my parents passed, but, uh, after, after that, uh, kind of just lived on, on my own. My dad kind of abandoned me after my, my mom passed. <clears throat> And uh, I started living off the land, pretty much. Had to pick berries, you know, catch rabbits, learn how to make a fire by myself. My dad never taught me that. Uh, yeah, I get that. I've been there. Still am there. <laughs> but uh, I ended up when I turned when I turned 18. I ended up uh, joining one of the joining in the war. So. Kind of, I did that for a few, and then they let me go, um, and then uh, kind of just been on my own ever since. That's why I ended up here. Kind of traveled over here. Uh, I had a wife and kids, but they, our our little cabin burned down. Uh, my my kid was playing by the fire and knocked over one of the logs, and it, the log caught the house on fire. So. They, they oh, burned Jesus. up in that while I was out hunting, trying to get his food and stuff. Oh, my condolences, Alec. I am sorry. You've been through a lot, son. Yeah, it's all right though. I live on. I live. I live on the name, and uh, I try and do my best I can to make them proud. I say, well, you're doing a good job. You're doing. You're doing good work anyway. Just depends what they were looking for you to do is all. If they were looking you to make it then. Hell yeah, you've made some good contacts today, huh? That's all that's all my wife really cared about was making sure that I could provide for him and she didn't care where the money came from as long as we had the money and the food. If she were still here, son, she'd be proud of you. This would probably be the easiest hundred bucks you've ever made. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully down the road it'll be a little bit more once we, you know, start getting bigger and better. That's it, that's it. There's a lot of gangs down here you got to be careful about. That's why we've been hired for this job. I got some pretty all right intel on some of them, but some others are just they're like ghosts in the wind. Evening, folks. Hey, Evening what up, those. fellas? How's it going tonight? Oh, it's going, you know. You know, just in here for a bit of refreshment after a hard day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, oh, us beautiful. too. Oh, I love sitting by the fire. <laughs> Best it's beer nice I've warm. came across. What are you fellas up to? We're just we're just chilling by the fire after yeah, a bit of a hell. long day hunting, you know, around these parts, boar, deer, you name it. Oh, you don't say. I'm a trapper myself. Oh, fellow trapper. It's nice to meet fellow like-minded folk around here. <laughs> what do you prioritize in, fella? Uh, I'm what? a rancher. Oh, that's a beautiful combination there. Yeah, we work well together. Where do you guys usually uh, camp? Around these parts or maybe out west more? Out west more, typically. Yeah, we're a bit more west. Yeah, that uh, the Kansas River, uh, right where that bend meets the uh, meets the old train tracks, that's the most beautiful spot I've seen. Oh, I know exactly what. Yes, 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 yes. We've been down there a couple times now, hunting. I, I, the, the, uh, there's definitely some beautiful places around here, son. I, I'll, I'm telling you, 
Sometimes I, I even surprise myself, it's you know, fucking you get crazy. seeing it all and then BAM! Yep, especially if you come across some of them, uh, some of the, like, old burnt down outposts and stuff. They, those are very interesting to walk around in. Oh, I, I, I agree. I do agree. Oh, it's getting too warm in here for me. I got you. Well, I just stopped in for a beer. I, I might bid you guys adieu for a sec. Oh, it was lovely meeting you guys, especially fellow trappers. Yep, lovely meeting you guys, too. You guys have a good day now. You, you as too. well. You take care. Oh, that's, that's me and you, fellas. Good meeting you, too. See you later. I just got a telegram again. What's that? Telegram? Probably, probably, probably something sold on the market. Fair enough. How's it going then, boss? Yeah, Everything sorted? Good job. Awesome. This is a new face. Nice to meet you, friend. Let's get on this hillside. Yeah, someone was following me on the road, so... Yeah, it's just a bit sketchy, isn't it? Yeah, make sure to pay our friend here. Absolutely, this is Mr. Duncan. He was, uh, he's a fresh face around here. Hey, Duncan. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, uh, yeah, he uh, he's down in town still. I think he's still distracting them. As you said, boss, your mission was to get in, get out. That's what I wanted to make sure it happened. Mm -hmm. That's why we stayed I'll there. I'll be in contact for more jobs, it. actually. That's awesome. I've got bigger orders coming in, really soon. So. You, I don't uh, understand how you do it, boss, but the more jobs, the merrier. We're happy to do them. Show me what you got, more money will follow. Make sure to pay our friend here as well. Absolutely. Money, I'll, I'll be sending the money over to you. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right, that's good. Well. Same, same box as before. We're back to business. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're back. Yeah. All right. It's time to dish out the payment. Yes, sir. All right. So there you go. There's your cut. Appreciate it, sir. Not a problem. Not bad for five minutes in a chat, huh? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> well, if you ever have any more inquiries per se or anything, just let us know and we can we can definitely hook you up. All right. Like, like I said, any other jobs you got, let me know. <clears throat> it just depends what you're looking to do, you know? Anything. Unless you're just talking about, oh, gee, anything, huh? Yep, anything. And, you, uh, and we can rely on you, Mr. Duncan. Yes, sir, you can. You can indeed. He died or something, right? Yeah, he uh, he got in, he got in some trouble with the law, and they uh, instead of taking him to prison, they just killed him. What? They hung him? Nah, they shot him. Cold blood. Jeez. I'll be in contact with you over the telegrams if I need you. Hopefully, we have another job sooner or later. Alright, sir.